Now on day three, we can look at serverless SQL pools. So I've got some data in a data lake in both CSV in a delimited file format, but also Parquet in an analytical file format. So with my data lake, I'm gonna browse through a folder structure. So I've got year, I have month, and I've got the date itself. If we have a look inside that folder, I've got a whole bunch of CSV files. Now I want to query the data within those CSV files without having to load that data into another data store, such as dedicated. So we can do that with serverless SQL pools. Now if I open up my script, what I can do is I can actually create a brand new database. We'll call it SQL Festive Tech 22. I'm just going to switch to the master database and I'm going to run to create that database. It'll take a few seconds to run. Now I can switch to using that database and start creating some objects inside that serverless database. So I'll create a schema. I can create some credentials to be able to access the data that's in that data lake. And I'm using the Synapse Workspace Managed Identity. I'm gonna create an external data source that points to that data lake and that container within the data lake. I'll also enable UTF support for Parquet files in that database too. So now that we've created our database and our connection to the data lake, we can start selecting data. So I'm going to run this select query on the CSV data that's in the data lake. I've defined a schema by using the with statement. So all those columns that are present in the CSV file I've represented here. All of the information that I need is in that open row set command and I've been able to query the data that's sat in that data lake. What I can also do is I can create objects, I can create views and external tables because we might want to hide some of the complexity of the open row set command. So I can actually create a view, select data from my data lake. I'm going to select from a Parquet data source. If I run that, I've added three columns that use the file path function. And this file path function can expose the folder structure in the data lake. And I can actually use that to filter. And lastly, if I just do a simple select top 10 from my view, I have my data back. And views in serverless are very useful to expose that data to other applications such as Power BI.